No farting on, no farting on the video. I'm trying to talk to the AFP. <sighs> Honestly, it's really hard when you're gonna get arrested by the Australian Federal Police before breakfast. Just get my tea. I'm talking, to, shush, I'm talking to the Australian Federal Police. Hi, nice people at the Australian Federal Police. Presume you're in Canberra in a bunker somewhere. Um, because this is not here in Geelong. Uh, but you should be because it's nice down here and we don't have COVID. It's really good. Um, so I've noticed that you guys have locked my Twitter account because maybe I was a bit, you know, too close to blowing a whistle yesterday on some corruption. Because <gasps> I know you guys hate that. I know you, I know, and I, I know you guys chase the journalists for that all the time. And you know, I'm not technically a journalist, but you know, what does it take to be a journalist? You know, I've actually tweeted earlier, you know, in the middle of the night. You can, you can look it up. You've probably looked it up. Um, about how the fact I'm preparing a whistleblowing document at the moment with a journalist and a couple of editors from regional newspapers. So, please, if you respect press freedom, if that means, if some, you know, I know we don't have a Bill of Rights here and I know, you know, it's all, it's totalitarian regimes are all in fashion at the moment, um, but I'd really appreciate it if I didn't have to make a sort of quivery voiced call to the emergency line of the British consulate and have to talk to the foreign, the, 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 the home office in London. Um, hey, house boy, can you wave? Just wave to the camera. Turn around, wave. Tea boy. Tea boy. Wave. Come and wave. Come and wave to the Australian Federal Police. Just say hi. Morning. Morning. That's Simon Charles Goldby, my husband, ex-British police officer and full-term British resident. And he's never bothered to get an Australian residency because why would you bother becoming a resident of this shithole town? Um, so, you know, but I was getting him to get an Australian residency, but everything got locked down in COVID. So, you know, didn't happen. Um, but yeah, so I've contacted Richard Miles via text. Um, I've had a recorded message put on the home office in the UK um, basically saying that you guys are threatening to come and arrest me for sedition on the internet, swearing on the internet, or being feminist on the internet, or whatever you're going to be arresting me for. Because frankly, you're a bunch of cunts, yeah? Bunch of cunts. I don't care. Like, come, come after me. I'm so here for it. Thea, do you think the Australian Federal Police should come and, come and arrest me? No. You don't want them to arrest mummy? No. See? Out of the word of babe, mouths of babe. So really, this is going to be really bad for the government PR-wise if you guys push ahead with this. Just saying. Okay? I can out Karen anybody. Yeah? I had to divorce my own mother and father because they were arseholes. You know? I know arseholes when I see them. So just don't bother. Okay? Don't bother. Bye! Love to chat. Now hurry up with my tea. Yeah. <laughs>